Hey everybody, it's Sissy. I'm back today. I'm going to show you a quick and easy DIY using these pretty, pretty baskets from Dollar Tree. And this is going to be a gift for a friend. And, um, you know, now we're in the summertime and it's going to be a lot of weddings and baby showers and engagement parties and birthdays and things like that and this would make a great basket to make um, a gift for a friend so that's what i'm going to do and we're going to personalize it i'm going to use my cricut and make a per put, put their name on it but if you were doing one for um a, a bridal shower you could put bride on it and put all kind of accessories for the bride in here or new mom um, you could just a thousand different ways you can use it you can even um get something a little more masculine and make one for your guy friends but today we're going to use this one to make a friend uh, a present for my friend susan and we're going to put her name on it and we're going to decorate it a little bit so the first thing we're going to do is make the little decal to go on the front of this container okay so we're going to make the name susan make a name tag a sticker that says Susan so we're going to click on text and we're going to just type out Susan oh, let's type this text word out and just Susan okay and we're going to highlight that and then we're going to go up here to our font and we're going to pick a font out and I think I want something cursive and fancy so let's see we're just going to scroll through um, i like this edwardian script so we're going to select that and i measured my container and my name should be about four four to five inches by three inches so we're going to make it five inches or let's do 4.7 and then we're going to unlock right here in the corner so we can just pull it down make it a little longer 2.4 so that looks good okay so now i've got my font and it's pretty but i want it to be a little bit thicker so we're going to select it and then we're going to do offset and it's automatically going to go to 0.25 which that's a little bit too big I just want to make it a little bolder so we're going to shrink it down a little bit so let's apply that and see that's a little still a little bit too big so let's um let's cancel that let's do offset again and let's do point Point two eight. that looks good so we're going to apply that and you see it just puts a border around it and i don't want that to cut separate so i'm just going to highlight everything and weld it so it's just one word okay so we'll cut it and it'll be a little bit bolder and it'll cut out easier now i'm going to do it in two different colors so i'm going to make a background to go behind this so we're just going to go up here to offset again we're going to make it point two five and hit apply and then we have it right here and we're going to go to contour and we're going to do we're going to close um hide all contours so we just clicked on it when we go back it's a solid piece now so we can just take this and we're going to click on make it and we're going to make it on the mat hit continue okay so we've created our um decal on cricut design space so now we're going to put our vinyl on our mat and i'm going to use some of this vinyl i got from tech wrap they sent me it's called baby pink no it's called sweet pink and it's really really pretty so we're going to put that on our mat um and i'm going to show you how we do that i get it opened um, now tech wrap did send me a mat but i'm not using it today because it's a um 
strong grip, and we don't need that for something like um, permanent vinyl. That would be for something um, heavier like wood or chipboard. But I have a light grip mat here. I'm going to pull our cover off it. Oh, and that's nice. Tech Wrap, they, they have their little closing tape on their... I'm just going to put the label on the inside of the tube. And it peeled right off. Sometimes I get it and it has a label closing it and I can't get it off. So that piece of vinyl is wasted. But um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use my paper trimmer and I'm going to cut the piece of vinyl um, approximately the size I need. I know I don't need anything more than six inches. So... Move my mat out of the way. I put my vinyl in. Go down six inches. Okay, so I'm gonna stick that on my mat and try to use this glitter permanent vinyl from Dollar Store. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut a piece of that. And then we're just going to take our mat, and because this is um, adhesive vinyl, we're going to put the shiny part up and the backing down. When you use heat transfer vinyl, you do it the opposite way. But And I'm going to do two colors, but I'm just using one mat because when I cut one side, I can flip the mat around and cut on the other side. So let's get this on here. And then we'll take it to our, um, oh. we see on our Cricut that the arrow is flashing, so we're going to go ahead and load our mat. I'm just going to put it against those two little grooves up there, hit the button. Okay, so we have our um, items cut, and we're going to take them off our mat. And to keep your paper from curling, I like to flip my mat over and peel it off. That way. Okay, and then we're going to do the same thing with pink. And then we're going to be sure and put our cover back on our mat to keep dust from getting on it. And then we're going to weed our pink first. And I have a cute little pack of weeding tools from Tech Wrap. Beautiful weeding pen. So we're just going to Catch a corner over here. Okay, let me go ahead and I'm going to cut off this scrap. I cut my paper a little bit big and I can save that for another craft. So we'll put that over there. And so we're going to weed this. We're just going to pick up the corner. Oh, that that weeds really well. I'm very happy with that. 
Um, let's get the centers of our letters out. So we have our name weeded, and now we're going to try weeding the um, Dollar Tree stuff. I'm not so sure about this, but we're going to give it a try. Well, that um, did really, really well. Okay. So, I'm going to layer the pink on top of the silver, so I have a little piece of transfer tape here. And you can use contact paper. Um, I, I use it sometimes, um, but it's kind of super sticky, so I usually rub it on something a little fuzzy to make it not quite so sticky. And I'm going to take my transfer tape here and just kind of put it on my shirt to make it quite, not quite so sticky. And then we'll just put it down and burnish it. You don't want to go crazy because we don't want it to stick really really well to the transfer tape because we do want to put it on our other material so and if some of it's coming up you can just press it back down so and now I have my silver Okay, and then we can put it on our container. And now we're going to put it on our container. There we go, Susan. All right, and then we're going to get to work um, filling our basket. Um, we could even go a little bit further. We could put some of these stick-on uh, jewels. They might be pretty on there. We might do that. Um, in fact, I think I might. So let's see. I'm gonna turn this around so I can I can see it, but I'm just going to lay it against that edge. Okay, so there we did. We have it all the way around. Now we can get to filling our basket. Okay, so I've got a bunch of stuff over here from the Dollar Tree that I'm gonna put in my basket. But, um, I also want to include a bottle of this Dossier Perfume. And Dossier Perfume is a, is a bargain. It's really bargain price. The only thing about them is, um, the bottle's nice, but it's not really pretty. So, we're going to pretty up this bottle a little bit. And, um, it does have the, um, scent, the fragrance name on the front. This is Centrus Ginger, but they also have one on the bottom that has it on it so we are going to take this label off here so we can make this bottle pretty and you could also cut um, a decal out with your Cricut to go on here um, but I'm not going to go that route today I'm going to show you how you could do it even if you don't have a Cricut 
and then you just want to take a little bit of rubbing alcohol on a wipe and get any glue off the bottle and I think I'm going to put these pretty little butterflies on here and these are nice They're, they have a complete sticker back so you don't have to use transfer tape or anything and they came from the Dollar Tree so we're just going to pull the little butterfly off and put it on our jar and if we want to be extra special we can just put another, put another one of these um, the smaller ones are the only ones that will fit and like I said if you're if you don't have some dossier perfume there's some nice perfumes in Dollar Tree or body sprays you can uh, take the labels off and decorate the bottles and make it look extra special for your recipient of your gift and if you like I said if you had a Cricut you could um, make their name anything like that All right, and then we can um, I have some of these strips of zigzag jewel border um, that kind of goes with our butterfly so I thought we would put some of that on the cap and a good thing about if you buy um, the Dossier perfume, the caps to the bottles, they're, they're magnetic. Um, they, they fit all the bottles. So if you do a nice blinged up top, you can just take it off and put it on your next bottle. But let's see if we can put some of this pretty bling on our bottle. Just going to line it up with the top of our cap. And if you get a little crooked, you can generally peel this back off and redo it. And out bottle, and we'll just go ahead and use a few more of these little jewels that we have. And there we go, we have our blinged out dossier perfume for that person in your life that's extra special. And now we're going to put together our gift basket. We have our gift basket, and I just have some shred. Um, this is leftover, just because you want to get a little height in your basket. They do have pretty white, which I wish I had some white, but um, I'm going to use this brown. I'll make it work. Or you could put tissue paper in there also. But I have an assortment of stuff over here in my bag. We'll pull some of it out, and then we'll see how we're going to arrange it in here. Of course, we have our perfume. We have the, and all this stuff, except for the perfume, comes from Dollar Tree. I have some of the Zing face spray that I like. Um, a color switch pad. Um, this is chamomile and cucumber fragrance mist. And one of the good little facial brushes. I picked that up. I've got one for myself too. And then I have the cucumber and cam chamomile and cucumber um, pan soap and the body wash. And a cute little um, three-piece manicure set. And the hibiscus and rose hand wash. A hand and nail um, op nourishing avocado mask for your hands. 
and the bath crystals, which is chamomile and cucumber. And we're just gonna arrange them all in our basket. Okay, so um, while I was hunting my ribbon, I decided maybe we'll stick a couple of these little flowers in there to make it look a little extra special. And again, these are just dollar store blossoms. Some simple little touches can make you, you know, make, a, make any gift look extra special. So a couple of those, and then um, I've got some pink and silver ribbon. We're just going to take our bag. And I just like to punch mine all the way up to the bottom, and then gently set my bag in the middle. Straight up. Okay. And when I get it in the center, I'm just going to take some tape and take the excess to the back so it looks kind of neat. Okay, so we're just going to take our corners and pull them to the back. So there you go. We have a um, beautiful basket that'll be great for a uh, birthday, uh, engagement, baby shower, just depending on what you put in it, or, or just because. So if CC can do it, you can do it too. We'll see you next time. Bye bye. And don't forget the dossier perfume, the giveaway for the perfume will be in the next video.